Okay, so AB times C equals AAA. Okay. Right. Uh, so AB is a two-digit number mm -hmm. times C equals AAA. And the first thing I did to realize what I'm about to show you is I wrote this as 100A plus uh, 10A plus A. And then I realized I could factor out an A. Mm -hmm. So this is A times 111. Okay. That's the, the left AAA is A times 111. And with all these digit problems, we're seeing that divisibility is sort of a really good thing to look for. Okay. And so if I take this and factor it further, I'm going to get A times 3 times 37. Okay. Okay. 37 is prime. Right? Okay. This thing is prime. Now on the left-hand side of the equation, I have AB times C, which means one of these two has to be divisible by 37, right? Because I multiply two numbers, there's got to be a 37 in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. If over here I get a 37. That's okay. how primes work. Okay. Right? I can't build primes up from... No. Right? So that means um, AB has to be divisible by 37, because C is only one digit. Mm -hmm. Right? So this thing is divisible by 37. Okay. Agree? Yes. Okay. Um, now what? That really narrows down the possibilities for AB. What could it possibly be? What two-digit numbers do you know are divisible by 37? 37? Could be 37. What's another 74. one? 74. 74. So and, on. And that's it. But not and so on, because there's no... The next one's like 111. Yeah. Right? AB is 37, or it's 74. Right? Okay. Um, now, if... A, B is 37. Okay. Let's test it. Um, a, B is 37. C is, we don't know. But then we know that 37 times C equals, well, now we know what A is. Mm -hmm. A is 333. Okay. Because, I mean, A, a is 3, so that means the result is 333. Okay. But this, is, this doesn't work because there's no C. That fits. Um, what's 333 divided by 37? It's 3. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, it's 9. No, it's 9. Wait a minute. 9. I'm totally wrong. I, I totally, I screwed that up. I had it backwards. This is the one that works. So that'll be a, a, a permanent reminder that I shouldn't jump to conclusions. Um, let's say AB was 37. Okay. Now the result of multiplying by C is AAA, which is 333. Okay? That's, that was the hypothesis of the problem. Remember? A, B times C equals A, A, A. Mm -hmm. Well, if A, B is 37, then A, A, A is 333. So then what is C? That's just a matter of dividing 37 into 333, and anybody can do that. It's 9. Okay. Okay. So that means C is 9. Okay. Or we could try the other one, 74. Um, 74 times a mystery value is seven seven seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, now this one doesn't work because if I try to divide seventy four into seven seven seven, I get one and then three garbage. That one doesn't work. A lot of stuff. C is nine. Okay. So the key was realizing that A B had to be divisible by thirty seven. 
Okay. Okay. Okay, since we have a couple minutes, I'm just going to include on the the end of this one, the exponent one. Okay, yeah. Right? Um, so the problem. question, yeah. Leading digit of uh, 5 to the 18 times 2 to the 20. This is a new question, by the way. Yes, new question. I wonder if you ever see that. I'm writing it huge because it's so easy to do this problem. Um, I can take 5 to the 18 times 2 to the 20. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give 18 of those 2s to the 18 5s. Which makes so 10 to the 18. Right. So I'm going to write it like this. Right? Yes. Do you know your rules of exponents? A little bit. A little bit? You know enough to believe that 2 to the 20 is 2 to the 18 times 2 to the 2. Yes, I know okay. that. Now, do you know that 5 to the 18 times 2 to the 18 is 5 times 2 to the 18? Yes. Okay. 2 squared? I can do that in my head. That's 4. four. Okay. So this is 4 times 10 to the 18. In other words, a 4 with 18 zeros after it. So the answer is 4. Okay. 4.